So the problem what we have here is a problem based on the concept of calculation of elongation. So we have the basic equation that is delta L is equal to PL by AE. Where delta L is the elongation, P is the load, L is the length, A is the cross-sectional area, and E is the Young's modulus. So let's see this particular problem. So here we are having a wire having a length of 30 centimeter hanging vertically is loaded with 500 Newton. Neglecting the weight of the wire, calculate the minimum diameter of the wire if the permissible stress is 20 megapascal and the total elongation is not to exceed 0.2 mm. Assume E equal to 2 times 10 raised to 5 megapascal. So here, so let's plot what is said. So it is said that there is a wire hanging vertically down, okay, hanging vertically down, uh, which is having a length of 30 centimeters. I'm plotting it as say 300 mm. Okay, let it be having 300 mm. Fine. So a weight is attached at the base, and it is having a value of 500 newton. That's what is said in the problem. And it is said that the elongation need to be restricted to 0.2 mm. Okay. So let's try when the elongation is 0.2 mm. What is going to be the st stress induced? Okay. Or we can think about what should be the minimum area required to limit the value as 0.2 mm. Okay. We don't want they will exceed this particular value. So let's try to use the formula what we discussed. So it is said that 0.2 mm, okay, 0.2 mm is equal to the load is 500 Newton that is given in the problem. Length, it is 300 that is also given divided by cross section area, which is an unknown and modulus of elasticity is given as 2 into 10 raised to 5 megapascal. That is again 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. So all the units are consistent. So let's calculate what is good the area. So if we do this calculation, we are going to get the area as the area as 3.75 mm square. So that's the area what we are getting. So we got the value of area. Now we need to think about whether this area is enough or can we decide that? Okay. For that, in the problem, they have given a clue. The permissible stress, the permissible stress should not exceed the value 20 megapixels, megapascal. So we need to check if you're providing this much area, what is the stress induced? Okay. And we know that stress is equal to load by area. So let's try that. The load is 500, 500 Newton divided by area. We already got the value 3.75. So if we do this calculation, the value what we are going to get is 133.3 Newton per mm square or mega pascal okay so 133.3 newton per mm square and we this particular value is greater than 20 mega pascal which is the maximum permitted so here we can see if you are providing this much area we can restrict the elongation to 0.2 mm but the stress is huge compared to the permissible value so we now we need to reduce the stress. The stress need to be limited to value 20 megapascal. What is the option we have? If we want to reduce stress, one option is to reduce the load or increase the area. Okay. So let's think how much area is required if we want to restrict the value to 20 megapascal. So we'll do a reverse calculation. So now the stress is the value that we know. Load is also a value that we know. The unknown is A. So we want to get the value of A, which can satisfy 
this particular condition. This can restrict the stress to 20 megapascal. So if we try this one, we are going to get the value as 500 divided by 20, which is 25 mm square. Okay. So if you're providing an area of 25 mm square, the cross-sectional area of the wire, then we can restrict the stress to 20. And uh, will it satisfy this condition? Now, if I'm increasing the cross-sectional area, will the elongation increase or decrease? So that is the decision that we need to make now. Okay. So to determine that, we can simply look into the expression. We have delta L equal to PL by A. So delta L will increase when P is increased and L is increased. Okay, as they are directly proportional. If I increase the value of P and L, elongation will increase. If I'm increasing the value of A or E, that is if I'm increasing the cross-sectional area or if I'm increasing the modulus of elasticity of the material, elongation will decrease. Okay, if I'm providing an area of 3.75 mm square, I'm getting an elongation of 0.2 mm. So if I provide a cross-sectional area of 25 mm square, the elongation will be far less compared to this because I have increased the area. When I increase area, that is delta L is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area. An increase in area will reduce the elongation. So definitely that value will be less than 0.2. So this condition will also be satisfied. Okay, the elongation will be less than 0.2 and the stress in material has been limited to 20 megapascal. So this is the area that we need to provide. If this is the area in the problem, we are asked to calculate the uh, diameter. Okay. So area, we know that area is equal to pi by 4 d square, where d is the diameter. So we can calculate d is equal to 25 times 4 divided by pi is going to give d square. So square root of that is going to give us the value and the value is 5.64 mm and that's the final result okay the diameter that we need to provide in this case is 5.64 mm so if you have some doubt whether this elongation has been satisfied for those i am just calculating this elongation again so that we will know that this elongation is getting reduced. So now what will be the new elongation if I'm providing area as here as this much. So it is PL by A. P is 500. L is 300. Okay. The area what we have provided is 25. So it is 25 times the modulus of elasticity that is 2 into 10 raised to 5. If I substitute that, I'm going to get the value as 0.03 which is less than 0.2 so we have limited the elongation to 0.03 which is less than the permissible value that is 0.2 and the stress also we have limited to the permissible stress that is 20 megapascal and the diameter required is 5.64 mm so this is how we solve this particular problem and this is an application of the Hooke's law, the concept of calculation of elongation using the equation delta L is equal to PL by AE.